So malnutrition in the chronically ill or critically ill patient is caused by a variety of factors. It could be the primary disease. As the primary disease sets in, for example, kidney disease or cancer, the patient develops inability to eat, inability to absorb, and all this leads to failing health, either in immunity, becoming anemic. Number two, the duration of illness. If a patient has been unwell for a long period of time, their nutritional status is likely to be worse than somebody who has an acute um, critically Ill illness, critical illness in the setting of chronic disease. The other factor contributing to malnutrition may be other comorbidities. A patient may have more than one chronic illness. They may have cancer but have kidney and cardiac disease. And this all contributes to the level of malnutrition that the patient may have. Inability to take uh, tablets, inability to take t uh, supplements, inability to take uh, appetizers or appetite inducers also contributes to malnutrition. In the primary illness, for example, if you have physical obstruction from cancer of the esophagus, if you have physical obstruction from cancer of the colon, this also contributes to malnutrition. Man mal manifestations of malnutrition in a chronically ill or critically ill patient start from physical appearance, where their hair, their skin, their nails, all appendages do not look normal. The patient looks wasted or what we call cachexic and they may be dehydrated with features of anemia. They usually have a low weight or a very low body mass index. They also have other features of malnutrition which include skin infections or wounds as well as edema or body swelling which we commonly see in kwasha core or other forms of malnutrition. The other manifestations include electrolyte imbalances where they have low sodium, they have low potassium, low zinc, and other things that, and other electrolytes which we acquire from diet, they may also be so physically unwell that they are losing some of these electrolytes, but they are unable to gain them from food because they cannot eat and therefore become mal malnourished. Low body temperature is also a, mal a manifestation of malnutrition where patients cannot be able to maintain a normal temperature because they do not have the required food nutrients in their system. Other manifestations include poor immunity where they have frequent infections because they cannot be able to sustain adequate levels of antibodies which are, are metabolized from proteins acquired from diet. So the critically ill or chronically ill patient who is malnourished looks wasted, low weight, and generally unwell with many deficiencies.